What's up, YouTube? I'm Brett. I'm Lance. This is Rain Torres. Please remember, as always, to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and share our content if you like our videos. Today we're going to be talking about upcoming Marvel movies. Which one are you most looking forward to? <laughs> we already uh, did our DC versions. So now we're going to do Marvel. Uh, Captain Marvel 2 for me. Captain Marvel 2? I too. love that story, yeah. man. I don't know why. I just... You see, um, it's not Brie Larson. It's not Brie Larson. <laughs> see, I ruined him on the Brie Larson uh, with the. Uh, yeah, you did. And, and so this Geeks and Gamers guy watching. Watch yeah, I was podcast. watching Geeks and Gamers, and yeah, they kind of run it with the whole yoga she was doing thing. Doing a live stream, and she was doing some kind of weird mm -hmm. yoga, and it about made me vomit in my mouth. So it was weird. I think. <laughs> <laughs> and he then I seen something about her in a big zucchini I don't know what that was all about I don't but, know what that was that was <laughs> but, the weirdest cookie so yeah too. I've, I've kind of been ruined on Brie Larson but I like the story Captain Marvel uh, well like I said previous video Marvel is like not just Captain Marvel but Marvel as a whole has been kind of winning me over to mm -hmm. the I guess the dark side with yeah their more recent stuff I grew up DC but now I'm starting to gravitate with Marvel, you know? No, I'm not. <laughs> I am, big time. Uh, right. You know what? And, but don't get me this wrong. This was a hard choice for me to make right here. There, there is some, uh, there is some the, projects that I'm the excited about. You yeah. know. I'm excited. I'm excited about the Eternals. Guardians of Galaxy Volume 3. There's, yeah. uh, there's uh, a lot Doctor, of things. The new Doctor, Doctor Strange, Strange in the multiverse. I Plus, mean, not to mention, you know, I'm so with Loki coming yeah. up, like... It's it's crazy to me. We well, well, you know when it comes to like Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of uh, uh, Madness, yeah. I'm I'm excited about that one. But then you know us, you know, you know doing research for this video too. We've also you know been doing talking for about the you know Loki video yeah for we the did Loki previously, video yeah. Uh, we've we it, it kind of seemed like there's a tie in. There's gonna be and yeah. and you know, I don't know if I'm looking forward to that aspect because you know it. with the Loki thing he used the what's it called again the, the box yeah, thing what's yeah yeah I know called? what you're talking about uh, uh, tesseract the tesseract he used yeah. that and they saying that's what mm -hmm. or when he stole that that's what it caused he created the multiverse yeah. so that's got to so, tie into this somehow yeah oh yeah it's definitely gonna but, tie uh, into it in some form or fashion if I had and, to choose though like I said this is a hard choice for me they're gonna make like a whole Arrowverse out of this I mean uh, I mean Disney Plus is just gonna just do that the Marvel, Marvel's version yeah, yeah. and but, it's probably uh, you're probably right it, you know we've discussed about that before. Yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna have to say I'm looking forward to Captain Alex. Marvel too. At least looking forward to Thor. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm what is that? Love and Thunder. Thor, Love and Thunder. I'm not that, looking forward to that. I feel like, I feel like they've ran out of ideas to do with Thor. I think and they so they're have just to. like, oh, let's make Jane the new Queen of Asgard, or you know, I can, I, not. I yeah, know who he is, but that, yeah, Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Yeah, I kinda, but I'm I, saying Jane. They're making oh, her yeah. basically oh, yeah. into the oh, new yeah, Thor, know. and I'm like, this is stupid. Like, yeah, when when you're getting Padme on the dollar to be Queen of Asgard or whatever, yeah, the heck I know that she's is. not really. But well, that's I mean, what I'm or, or she's the next basically Thor, the daughter of Thunder at this. point. I guess point. Valkyrie like, is know? supposed to be the Queen of Asgard. Yeah, but, well, maybe Jane's but, gonna be her queen. <laughs> well, you know, she they they, they say that about big thing is her trying to find the queen. Because so, I, I mean, guess technically she's the king of Asgard. So, so is this mean that's gonna be a romance? Like, I don't know, man. It's called Love and Thunder. I feel like I feel like uh, Tom Hiddleston is probably the best version of Thor, or Logan. best best uh, best character in Thor. Sorry, definitely. That's uh, why he's getting his own show. And and I feel Would like you watch a show about I feel Jane. Like, I feel like Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman and all of them. I I'm wouldn't just, watch a show about Jane. Mm -mm. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't watch a show about the Valkyrie. You know what? So I, I would that, be more interested as... in watching a show about her than I probably would be Chris Hemsworth. Like I'm just I don't know. Once he got fat, I'm that. like, we've seen every every version of Thor there's possible to see. Right? Yeah, but see, do you think now, that's do you think that's something that Marvel has ruined with us? Is Marvel tried to make it into like a joking thing? 
Well, DC tried to stay, you know, really serious. I don't know. Like I kind of feel like, like the Marvel said, thing kind I'm of lessened bigger, the I, I've gotten bigger with Marvel now, mm-hmm. so I don't know. I can't you know judge I mean? on that, you know? you know? I can't be the judge on that topic yeah. because I've started to lean way more on Marvel. I, I, I think, guess, I don't know, though. You know, I said Thor, Love, and Thunder, but then I'm also kind of least looking forward to the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming mm-hmm. 2 or the sequel to that like, I, I think, I'm not big on the Spider-Man thing I think Thor Love and Thunder is probably the thing that I'm looking uh, least forward to oh I don't know because uh, then we got Black Widow uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean that's a hard choice you for know, me that's what, I'm what I'm not looking forward to see I have Black a lot Widow of was so see, with, me, it was with me I've got a, a hard choices with what is I'm looking forward to the most but mm-hmm. I also have a lot of hard choices with what I'm looking forward to the least Oh, what I'm looking forward to the most is is gotta either be uh, Doctor Strange two, or um, or uh, the Eternals. The Eternals. I mean, I, I mean, you I know, I just kind of feel like the Eternals is gonna be like a small scale of the Avengers. Well, it's gonna you be know? about godlike creatures. I, I mean, I you just, know, and they're I gonna. Don't. And I'm almost kind of curious is, is you know Thanos going to be a part of that? See, I don't have not? I don't have an interest in that because we're just going to get the Percy Jackson reboot. I'll get all my gods over there. But, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. All that, was, <laughs> and just, I'll be right there with you doing you that. You know, I just I I, yeah. I just don't have much interest in it. Yeah, but, yeah, that's uh, fair enough. I'll watch but, it. I mean, it's it's I'm going to watch it. What's going to make it hard is I know how I am. Mm-hmm. And when these all come out, I'm going to go back and watch every Marvel movie that's on Disney Plus all over again, mm-hmm. like I did when we first got Disney Plus. <laughs> you want to know so far what my favorite Marvel movies have been is actually, uh, my favorite ones have been uh, Black Panther. I, I, I like the Black Panther movie. I like um, the Black Panther movie. For no other reason, Killmonger. I thought Killmonger was awesome. The Michael B. Jordan's yeah. character. I, yeah. I didn't know the name. Yeah. I couldn't think. Yeah, but, I think, I thought but yeah, was, I like I him in almost awesome, anything. Man. I think I like him so much just because he's Creed. But yeah, no. but uh, yeah. But, I, but you know, I would, I would overall, I would say that uh, you know, there's a lot more movies I'm not looking forward to out of Marvel than there are. Well, see, it was uh, with DC this time around. With this, with this mm-hmm. debate here, mm-hmm. I call it a debate for lack of a better word. But with this, it's a rant. With this <laughs> rant here, I had my rant is some I had of those suck. I had more I had more things I wasn't looking forward to with DC than what I do with Marvel this time. Really, really. The only yeah. thing I'm really looking forward to with DC is Batman. I feel like I feel like the Thor series and the Spider Man series have turned into a joke. Well, with Sp- Marvel. Okay. I feel like that. I feel like it's not serious The Spider Man series was always a joke. I didn't think it was. I actually like what was it, the Sam Raimi ones? I actually like the well, I like the first one. The Toby Maguire one? Yeah. Yeah. I like I mean, the villains in those. I, I thought it was a more serious version of now, it. Now I uh I, now if they if they come out and tell me they're making Venom too, my list will change here because like Venom I, was awesome. Venom was awesome. I don't know when it's supposed to. It's supposed to be coming out pretty soon. I know, I, but I, uh, you know, so my list here might would change if it yeah, was already guaranteed. Yeah. But but you know uh, Venom Venom was a, Venom was a great movie. I will give you that. You know Venom was a, I'm yeah, a big I know. Tom Hardy fan. Well, I mean he's just he just played that role. <laughs> So I, I've like I've been a Tom Hardy mm-hmm. fan ever since I seen Warrior. Mm-hmm. It was him and his brother were doing this like UFC tournament and they ended up having yeah, yeah. to face each other. I, think. <laughs> I love that I like movie. That. And like I like ever that. Since I like the one where he's uh, plays himself. He's a gangster and this or twins. Or they're whatever. twins. Yeah, I yeah, seen that too. Awesome. That's a good one too. But you know, there's and, a, in uh, Taboo. He's good in Taboo too. He was good in Peaky Blinders. Yeah, he was I mean, great. Never. I, I, I mean, he's, he's, he's one of my favorite actors. So. But but overall, there was this I think, one movie with him, and it just is completely off topic. But uh, Shia LaBeouf was in it too. They were Moonshiners. So. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Uh, yeah, that is good. Limitless. That is, yeah, that is a good. I like the part where he went to share. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it takes the share up. Yeah, but uh, but anyways, um, overall, I mean, like I said, Captain I, Marvel too for me on on the Marvel side. 
See, I kind of, I, I kind of, I didn't like the first Captain Marvel. I you, thought the Captain you didn't like it the first time you watched it. The next the time sec- you watched, it, you liked it a little bit more. A little bit more, <laughs> but I, but there was also some things that bothered me a lot more about it too. Like uh, Carol Danvers' friend, when she sees that her her child is out there playing with the alien, and then the alien turns into an alien, and she's never seen an alien before. It's like, oh, well, that's just an alien threatening my child's life. That's cool. I mean, it was like they're all yeah, just yeah. sitting at the table well, drinking uh, coffee. One thing I had a I problem like, with, what are you I'll tell you what about? I had a problem with was Samuel Jackson, you always assume that he got his eye put out in some with kind the cat? of, with some kind of gangster yeah. sway. No, <laughs> the cat but, scratched him. But, but see, I get that's a funny, hilarious part, but to me also, well, it's, it's, I it's laugh like this it's humor. I know, it's like, that's the humor. Stupid. Like, I wish that they would have stuck the, with the badass way. Like, not, yeah, I wish not, they would have taken That's know, what I'm kind of saying. saying. I can't take him serious mm-hmm. anymore. Yeah, I know. I mean, I mean, he's always going to get Nick gonna, uh, yeah, Nick Fury. 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 Yeah, you know. That, Why see, doesn't he get his own movie? I have no idea. I would watch. I'd I watch it. I'd watch that in a I mean, would. I don't want you know, he now they, I'm now tired they, of these mother superheroes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. You know what? Simply and everything else. I mean, my favorite. Dude, in Star Wars, I expect you to be like, I'm tired of these mother <laughs> droids and this mother galaxy <laughs> if he'd have done that that would automatically been the best best Star Wars, Wars of all time ever. yeah like, you know? I expected it I ain't gonna lie I did say <laughs> or at least right before he dies say it or you know get part to the part I'm where he's gonna say it. yeah and then, and then he gets shot out of the window or yeah. something yeah but that would have been a cool, that would have been a cool way to end it but Mace Windu could have had Ma- a bigger part in Star Wars Mace, too. Win- Mace Windu could have but overall uh, I mean that is a series. They are thinking about maybe bringing a Mace Windu series out. So I mean, he's going to have to show us what happened to him before Anakin. So no, it, I think it takes place after. He's dead. He's not dead. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh wait, no, he's stuck in the mirror. I forgot. Yeah. This is Disney. No, yeah, about. yeah. No, that's that's Palpatine. That possibly could be if you. They you, all could uh, be if, that, if that's the way. If you're going to believe that theory with Palpatine, you can mm-hmm. believe Anakin Skywalker's still alive, stuck in the mirror somewhere. Uh, all of them. Duke Cox, our future ruler. He's. I don't know if you. Well, this is why I'm not. This is why I'm not done. So, with so we have to believe okay. it. <laughs> but overall, overall. What Marvel movies are you most looking forward to? And tell us mm-hmm. whether you're looking more forward to the upcoming things coming from DC or the upcoming things coming from Marvel. I mean, I think both of them have. Uh, I think they good both movies. have some strong yeah. things coming. I think I think the Doctor Strange one, the Eternal one, and when they do come now, out with uh, ne- the next, you know, we did a video Galaxy, about this too. With, uh, we did a video about this too. You can go check it out. Mm-hmm. So with COVID kind of pushing everything mm-hmm. back. Is this uh, DC's chance yeah, to get in the phase lead? Four. Phase four. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is this a uh, uh, DC's the chance of taking DC over. To get in the league because let's face it, DC has owned the series. They just they've owned the, the series. Movies. They've owned the series, but they I mean, uh, Marvel has owned the movies. But now with Marvel starting to actually dip their toes mm-hmm. into the series, Marvel could just take off and leave DC. I think it could too. I, I think that's a let us know what y'all I think, think about that's a that too. Possibility. Yeah, <laughs> in the comments I think that's below. A distinct possibility. Go and check out our DC playlist and the Marvel playlist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and as always, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Take care, guys. <laughs>